Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look on how we should subtract two vectors from one another. We're going to take the same two vectors before, vector a and vector b, but instead of adding the two vectors, we're now going to subtract one vector from the other. In this case, we're going to subtract vector b from vector a. So we can write this as a minus vector a minus vector b, or in other words, you can also say that I'm going to add the negative of vector b. So the vector a minus vector b is the same as taking vector a and adding the negative of vector b. So what is the negative of vector b? Well, the negative of vector b has the same magnitude as vector b, but is pointing in the exact opposite direction. So the angle direction of, vector, of the negative vector b is 180 degrees different from vector b to begin with. Vector b points this way, negative vector b points this way. So when we add the negative vector b, to vector a, that's the same as subtracting vector b from vector a. Now, how is that done? Well, simple as this. You draw vector a, and then you take the negative vector b and take the tail of negative vector b and connect it to the tip of vector a, and then wherever vector, the negative vector b ends, you draw a vector from the tail of vector a to the tip of the negative of vector b, and this will then become a plus the negative vector b, which in essence is the same thing as taking vector a and subtracting vector b. So that's how you would do that. Another way to do that is to go ahead and draw both vectors a and b starting with the tails of both vectors together. So vector a will go this way. In other words, you take vector a here and place it right there. You take vector b and place it right there. And then you draw a vector from the second vector to the first vector, or from the tip of the second vector to the tip of the first vector. So this is also vector a minus vector b. Now if you take a look at this vector here, and take a look at this vector here, you can see you get the exact same result. So you can do it two ways. Either you take the first vector and add to that the negative of the second vector, and then draw a vector from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the second vector, or you draw the two vectors like this, both with the tail to one, uh, connected together here. So you have the two vectors here. And then if it's a minus b, you draw a vector from the tip of vector b to the tip of vector a. If it's b minus a, then you draw a vector from the tip of vector a to the tip of vector b. And that's how, that's how we have the two methods to subtract one vector from another. And that's how it's done.